Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome, we continue randomized complete block design. In this lecture, we will discuss Latin square design. Latin square design. Let us see the contents. We will first explain what is Latin square design. Then we show you the statistical analysis part of Latin square design. Then one example, in fact two examples we will see and references. The textbook from where we have taken the material is design analysis of experiments by Montgomery. So, what is Latin square design? In randomized complete block design with one one controllable factors factor and one nuisance factor so you have seen that you have a you have, you have this kind of things 1 to A and 1 to B. So, so many blocks and at different levels and then we have seen the statistical analysis all those things. So, that means, in the first lecture of RCBD, I have shown you that there is one controllable factor A and there is a blocking or nuisance factor 1 and which is having the B levels. For example, batches of raw material in that case B number of batches. Now, suppose instead of these two that mean that batches of raw material this is your block 1 and this side suppose you have the treatments the factor A with level A, level 1 to A. Suppose there is another block, may be the operator, operators, it is block 2. So, this batches of raw material let it be 1 to B and operators also you can think of 1 to C fine. So, you can go for statistical model that Y i j k and then what will happen treatment effect raw batch 1 raw block 1 effect block 2 effect and errors all will be there. But if you do this what will happen you require more number of experimental runs and blocking in this manner also is costly. So, instead of this Suppose, you create a special kind of design in such a manner that, that if you have a number of treatments, you choose a number of blocks for block for blocking variables block 1 and block 2. So, then it will give you a square matrix kind of thing. Suppose, if a is the number of treatment and then if I go for a number of uh, blocks for a for a particular blocking variable then you will be getting this side a and this side a 1 a by a square matrix. 
So, this takes care of the first block. Then what will happen to the second block and how do you adopt this one without increasing the number of experiment. So, this is a special kind of things. So, now I will show you this that the how the other block is also accommodated here and and then chemical and then, then the treatments are combined within the blocks two group of blo two blocking factors in such a manner that your a cross a or p cross p suppose if p is the number of blocks for the block uh, number of treatments then then you will uh, with p square p cross p p square number of experiment number of experimental runs you will be able to estimate the treatment effects. Okay. So, this kind of design is coming here. So, you see the first one it is a 4 cross 4 a b c d at the treatment and then suppose the row is row is block 1 and row column is block 2 and in between cells are basically assigning the treatment for the two, two blo different block combinations. If there are 5 number of treatments, so you take 5 blocks for first blocking variable factor and sec again another 5 blocks for, uh, for second uh, blocking factors, 5 labels or if there are 6 treatment, so 6 labels each of the two blocks. So, in that case you will create a square matrix, where rows represents the label of block 1, column represents the label of block 2 and in between the latin words represent the treatments. So, that is what is written here in this kind of design is known as latin square design. Latin square design control two sources of nuisance variability it is written as a square with latin letters so a b c d all those these are latin letters and each letter represent a particular treatment level number of rows number of rows so there will be again number of rows equal to the number of treatments and that represents the nuisance factor 1 number of columns equal to the number of treatment represent the number nuisance factor 2 and what happened in each treatment occurs only once in each row and each column combinations. Each row and each column only one time that treatment will occur. For example, if I consider 5 by 5 the second one 5 by 5 this latin square you see that if you consider the first row a occurs once there is no more a similarly if you consider the first column a appears once. If you consider suppose the fifth column D appear uh, fifth column D appear once as well as a fifth row also D appear once. So, each treatment occurs only once in each row and in each column. Another important thing is that this nuisance factor in rows and column they are orthogonal to the treatments. So, that is that is another important consideration. So, this type of design is known as latin square design. So, what is latin square design? Latin square is a square ultimately it control nuisance factor two nuisance factor and there if there are five number key p number of treatments. So, this will be a p cross p matrix. So, each of the cells each of the cells represent each of the cell represent a treatment suppose a b c d then b c d e then c d e. So, a b c d b c d a then c d a b then D A B C. Two is batches of raw material 
then raw material batch 1, batch 2, batch 3, batch 4, if it is operator, operator 1, operator 2, operator 3, operator 4. So, that means, the number of the, the size of the mat latin square will be determined by the number of treatments. As there are 4 treatments, so there are 4 cross 4 matrix and, and in each of the in each of the rows every treatment will occur once. Similarly, in each of the column every treatment will occur once. This is our latin square design. So, what happened? You have three different factors. One is treatment and two nuisance factors, but you are in a you are in a position that you just conduct p square number of experiments and then you are able to block the two nuisance factor as well as you are able to estimate the effect of the treatments and also you are in a position to conclude whether the treatment levels are different differently affecting the response variable or not okay so now what is the statistical model the statistical model statistical model it has three directions y i j k okay so, I stands for I equal to 1 to P that is number of rows, K stands for K equal to 1 to P this is number of columns. So, that means I for blocking factor 1 nuisance factor 1 and this k for nuisance factor 2 and what is j? j also 1 to p, but this is for treatment. So, then what is y i j k? Observation on i th row and k th column for the j th treatment. This represent observation for the i th row and j th column for treatment k th column k th column for treatment j that is what is your general observation y i j k you have y i three directions but in the data set you have only only p cross p so only and p cross p data is able to uh, do our purpose this number of data able to do our purpose so what will be our model then y i j k this will be mu plus alpha i plus tau j plus beta k plus epsilon i j k overall mean block 1 effect, treatment effect, block 2 effect, error and sources of variability that is why 2 blocks, 1 treatment, 1 error. Being orthogonal, there is no interaction effects. Okay. So, now how do you compute the SS sum square this computation is very very important. So, let us see the table <coughs> this table right hand side lower most this one this is ANOVA table for Latin square design. So, our sources of variations are treatment rows column error this four source so, treatment row, row factor, column factor, error. Now, SS treatment you will be computing like this 1 by p j equal to 1 to p and it j varies y dot j dot square minus this and its degree of freedom is p minus 1. 
S s also rho will vary and S s column that column factor will vary and total all these things you will consider. Okay. So, I will write down again. So, S s total you have three direction one is your k then i i j k y i j k square minus y dot 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 this is grand total by n. Okay. So, what is n here? n equal p into p p square. So, n equal to p cross p equal to p square. Suppose you want treatment what will happen? There are p number of cases. So, your j will vary from 1 to p, then your this side y dot j dot the square minus y dot 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 square by n. So, j is changing. S s rho if I write rows, this is rho blocking. So, then this will be i equal to 1 to p y square i dot dot minus y dot 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 square by n. Similarly, S s columns if I write 1 by p column variable will change that is k equal to 1 to p y dot dot k square minus y dot 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 square by n and S s error is S s by subtraction. So, what will be the degree of freedom for each of these sources? Here p square minus 1 is the degree of freedom for the total for treatment p minus 1, for rows p minus 1, for column p minus 1, then what will be for S s e? p square minus 1 minus p minus 1, p minus 1, p minus 1, 3 p minus 1. So, if you take common p minus 1, this will be this will be what p plus 1 into p minus 1. So, p plus 1 minus 3. So, p minus 2 into p minus 1. As a result, you see that from here the degrees of freedom is p minus 1, p minus 1, p minus 1, p minus 2, go to slide p minus 2 and p minus 1 and p square minus 1. So, and calculate mean square, calculate f that is what is to be done. Interestingly, you will you will learn the tricks here that although there are only two dimensional data that p cross p, but you are you are basically going in three different directions i j k. So, how this is happening in the data set that part we will discuss with an example. Okay. So, here also we have we have taken that example with chemi for improving chemical yield the process yield but please remember this data are again assumed data this is not the experimental data we are assuming that you will be doing experiment and based on experiment you will be getting similar kind of data so how why it is latin square and how it, that latin square will be analyzed so here the treatment interest is three chemical formulation A, B, C. A, B and C, three chemical formulation A, B, C. Two blocking factors are batches of raw materials and operators. So, we have treatment chemical formulation, treatment is chemical formulation. How many? 3 in number. So, go to so p equal to 3. So, then what is the first blocking factor? Batches of raw material. So, how many batches required here? We require p equal to 3 batches. So, this is 3 number of rows. 
then second one is our operators this is the second notion inspector it also will be having p number of p equal to 3 so three operators needed so then in this case you see we have suppose this side operator 1 operator 2 and operator 3 this is operator then this side suppose batch is raw material 1 raw material 2 and raw material 3 this is our raw material now we have that's why 3 cross 3 nine number of cells cell 1 cell 2 like this so where is the treatment this operator is the block 2 blocking factor 2 and batches of raw material is blocking factor 1 so batches of raw material then you are in each cell you are you are putting the chemical formulation chemical formulation is a b and c you put in a such a manner that the orthogonality is maintained suppose first cell is a that means that chemical formulation a with batch raw material 1 and operator 1 is experimented and the result process yield is suppose 65 so in that case similarly b process yield is 71 c process yield is 75 then again here b process yield is 77 c process yield is 81 and then a process yield is 80 then c process is 89 a process yield 87 b process yield 83 so each cell also cell in the cell that treatments are placed in such a manner that you are getting the yield also and that's why one two and each cell that the three directions are captured here okay here you see in each row the every treatment occurs once each column every treatment occur one and it's a square and it is latin square so that means the for the example go to slide for the example what we have shown here it's it's a fit case for it's a latin square case now how to analyze the data and get the resultant uh, information what we are seeking for is whether the chemical for three chemical formulations are differently affecting the process yield or there is no difference in the chemical formulations in terms of producing yields okay so just to for the sake of uh, algebraic uh, arithmetic simplification suppose if you subtract each of the observations here by 70 so then you will be getting this is this is the reduced reduced uh, that matrix and if you do analysis or use the formula what i have already shown you with this data or this data there will be no difference because every observation is subtracted by a constant so that will not create any problem in the ss calculation so using this data we have calculated sst sst is what sst will be <coughs> what is the formula for SST 1 by P I J equal to 1 to P and then Y dot J square by N uh, sorry this is SST statement so SS, uh, SST is this one sorry SST is the sum total okay so I think 
uh, then so with reference to this example then how do how do you compute the SST, SS statement and uh, SS rows, column, SS error, these are the formulas uh, will be used. Suppose if I use this formula cal for calculate SST, then then you see that we will be getting SST 464 and formula for SS formulation will give this as these are the values for sum square we are getting. And here uh, we have three uh, formulations, so p equal to 3, so degree, so degree of freedom will be 3 minus 1, 2, again 2, 2, 2, 2 and finally, uh, your total is number of observation is 9 minus 1, 8 will be the degree of freedom for total, then calculate the mean square and what we are finding out that the further treatment the F0 value, F0 is, F0 is what is F0 is MS treatment by MSE, in this case MS treatment is 20.34 and MSE 12.33, there is this one giving us a value of 1.65, which to be compared with F P minus 1, P minus 1, 2, 2, let alpha is 0 0.05 and this value become 19. So, as a result F 0 is less than 9 F 2 2 that 0 0.05 which is 19. So, H 0 cannot be rejected. H 0 cannot be rejected. So, that means the chemical formulation A, B and C, they their effect on the process yield is similar or same. There is no significant difference in the mean yield if you go for chemical formulation A or huge chemical formulation B or huge chemical formulation C. Suppose, <coughs> there are two new chemical formulation available apart from these three two more new chemical formulations are available in the market and it is it is uh, it is uh, told by the firm uh, the bad company that these two new chemical formulation giving you better result or they are if you use these the process yield will be better or more than the existing ones so the engineer the, in, uh, the engineer in charge he want he wanted to uh, that do a experimental uh, do an uh, experiment and to test whether the two new chemical formulations are um, are really um, good or they are also same so here what happened the he wants to use a latin square design because of restrictions on the uh, number of uh, experiments to be conducted. So, as there are 5 chemical formulation, the engineer chosen 5 different batches of raw materials and 5 different operators. And the result results uh, for different when use different formulation the yield given here. Here also we have subtracted the uh, original observation experimental data each of the cell data by 70 but it can be subtracted by some other value like 100 also uh, or not 100 maybe by 90. So, then this value will become little smaller values. So, okay, whether whatever value you subtract a convenient value will be subtracted. So, that you will handle uh, handle data with less amount that the calculation part become easier. As in the previous example I have subtracted by 70 we keep the same one here. Okay. Now, using the this formula SST, SS batches, operators and formulations and then what happened? We found that SST is to this, SS batch is this, operator this, formulation this and SS error this. Okay. So, so <coughs> when you go for computation of SS batches, that is what I uh, wanted to tell in the first example also 
but here let me tell you clearly what I am saying. When you are talking about SS batches, so what is the formula you are using? The formula you are using, suppose SS batches mean SS rows, so y SS batches mean SS row y i double dot square. So that means row total square. When you are going for uh, operators that column blocking variable that column total square you are using here. So, what is row total first row 48, second row 49, third row 57 like this you see SS batches all those row total are squared and their sum is taken and then we divided by uh, by 5 because there are 5 batches of raw material. So, we have taken the, uh, the average of those squared values and then it is subtracted by the correction factor that is y double triple dot square by n and you are getting this value. So, from computation point of view when you do S S total you you basically sum uh, square all the observation 25 observations and take their sum and minus the correction factor 305 uh, the total square by 25. When you are going for row S S per rows that row total each of the row total will be will be squared and their average will be taken corrected by the uh, this this value. When you are going for operator that is the column case S S columns again the column total will be squared and divided by the number of observations in the column total and then subtracted by the correction factor. So, when you go for formulation then what is that value that is the interesting one. You see here how many formulation A, B, C, D, E that 5 formulations are there you take the total for all the A's. So, first in column 1 minus 5, column 2 17, so 17 minus 5 is 12, column 3 it is 10, so that means 12 plus 10 is 22. 22 here it is minus 7, so 22 is 15 and here it is 1 that means 16. So, that means only the values attached with A will be totaled. So, that is the total formulation that is 16 for A 16. Similarly, for B you just total this one for first column B equal to 7, second column B equal to 1, third column B equal to 13, fourth column B equal to 15 fifth column b equal to 5 all those things when you total you are getting 41 in that manner you will get the total for different formulation and here when you are calculating the formulation uh, you are writing s s formulation equal to 1 by 5 see 16 square plus 41 square plus 34 square plus 94 square plus 102 square minus this question this is the case then s s error by subtraction and here what happened when you do the ANOVA uh, um, test, you find out that F0 computed is 5.50, but here error degrees of freedom increases to 12 and MSA is 17.17 and F0 is 5.050 and the threshold F0 is 3.2826. So, computed F0 is more than the threshold F0, so there is formulation effect. So, that means I think that the two new formulation that came to the market they are giving better results. So, so this is what is our Latin square and there are some more things in Latin square which you require to read by self study that is that when the number of uh, formula treatment or treatment levels are less like 3 3 or 4 4 there you have found out that the error degree of freedom become very less and it will give you give it may give you bad results. So, as a result you require to use replications in case of Latin squares and particularly in the small Latin squares. So, there will be three cases case 1 use same batches and operators with reference to the example use same batches and operators in each replicate. So, you do replication, but ke keep by batch and operator same. Other case is use same batches, but different operators. So, one batch different replicates with different operators 
and then case 3 use different batches and different operators. What will happen accordingly the formula will change the resultant tables will be like this, this one, this is for case 2, this is for case 3, these are available in Montgomery book and, and this is what is our Latin square design and I hope that a simple uh, that what is Latin square and when it will be used it is used for blocking simultaneously blocking two nuisance factors and with one treatment and hope that you will be able to reproduce the results and you have you got the concepts also thank you very much